We all have a favorite dragon. Some we hold dear to our hearts, others we fear, and some we wish would just take us away to another world. Majestic, beautiful, cruel. Dragons are all of the above and more. Sorry, boy. I hope you like it well, Doc. At the Binger, we are not contemplating which of these wild beasts we love the most, but which ones we want on our side in battle, which small screen tarragons would serve us best in war, and which silver screen fire drakes make our skin color ten shades paler. Stick around and find out the top ten dragons that make us want to call our mamas the fastest. Ten, the Hungarian Horntail, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The 50-foot-long Hungarian Horntail is a black, yellow-eyed, bronze-tailed reptilian bird of prey that almost made Hogwarts cancel its school year. Well done, dragon! In a cruel competition known as the Tournament of Champions, the Goblet of Fire selects the Potter Boy to retrieve a golden egg from this angry brute in order to proceed to the next round. Harry and his broom are able to outsmart this flying lizard, but it's the sheer chain-breaking ferocity that frightens us with this one. He must have eaten at least three dozen children before that day and looked starving for junior wizard meat when they let him loose. He's one demonic fire breather we wouldn't want on our tail if we weren't at the top of our game like Harry was that day. 9. Draco, Dragonheart this golden-eyed last of his kind is one of the most even-tempered on this list. His teaming up with a dragon slayer created one of the most heartwarming friendships in Dragonian history. Don't mistake his kindness for weakness, though. Shut up! <laughs> this proud practitioner of dragon self-defense would cook you in a heartbeat if you crossed him. Though his body count is small, at about five or so nights, it's his ability to share a heart with you that's huge, for that takes more courage than anything. Ask any married person, they know. Draco would always know what was on your mind, how you were feeling, and most importantly, when you were in danger. Once you were bonded with him, he would protect you to the very end making him the ultimate bodyguard. We all dragons know that story. 8. Toothless. How to Train Your Dragon Although seemingly small and frail, this 26-foot-long 21-year-old shows incredible bravery when standing up to tyrant dragon Red Death. He uses his intelligence to trick the more powerful gangster dragon into making an impossible dive from which he would meet his demise. Toothless will continue to grow and gain diplomatic skills as he helped negotiate the truce between dragons and humans, a cut above some of the mindless dragons of other lore. And as Dragon King, he'd have a dragon army on his side. Seven. Bull Dragon, Reign of Fire. To start, the Bull Dragon took out the dinosaurs. All of them. That's Jurassic Park 1 through 5 vanquished. These creatures may even be biologically immortal, accruing a wisdom akin to no human being, living or dead. The female Bull Dragons grow 40 feet long, and the males to over 150 feet in length. Perhaps the original weapon of mass destruction, the last surviving alpha male bull dragon breezed through other cities easier than a stealth bomber, with the human weapons of the day ineffective in slowing it down. Along with all the dinosaurs, bull dragons have roasted millions of people. It took 18 years and a specially made explosive arrow to the throat to put this dragon's reign of terror to rest. 6. Saphira, Aragon Saphira has been Aragon's dragon ever since she hatched, and they've been bonded ever since. She's one of the most unique on-screen dragons to appear to date. Now time cannot ravage it. At only 30 feet long, she is able to take out two physically superior dragons, 
It is impressive that she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with others of her own kind. We'd love to see her take on the likes of Big Bad Shriekan if there's ever a sequel. 5. Vermitrax Pejorative – Dragon Slayer When a dragon gets this old, it knows nothing but pain, constant pain. At 40 feet long, this misunderstood wyvern can create landslides and earthquakes. Her neck is vulnerable, but she is able to survive an attack from a magic blade, a rarity for dragons. We do believe that she has always held the humans responsible for her hardships, as they do with she. With both humans and dragons playing the blame game, her story has no choice but to be a tragic one, as she is destroyed by Galen with magic, this time with the help of his master Moses. I mean, um, Ulrich. Ulrich sacrificed himself desperado style to do so. Since sorcerers admitted to creating dragons, they are the only ones that can put them down. Without any sorcerers around to use magic to stop their creations, Vermitrax's pejorative would be virtually unstoppable. 4. King Ghidorah, the Godzilla franchise King Ghidorah is from space and destroyed all culture and science on Venus on his way here. Why? Just because he could. King Ghidorah is Godzilla's archenemy, and since Godzilla has a lot of enemies, that's really saying something. King Ghidorah varies in size, but tops out at about 492 feet in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. He first appeared in Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, where he showed us how he could fire gravity beams from his mouth. Also known as Monster Zero, King Ghidorah demolishes humans easily. His only weakness? Godzilla. He always loses to him, but he always comes back for more with a new ability in another movie. If Zilla's not around though, his sheer size is enough to make you pass out. 3. Drogon – Game of Thrones Who could possibly forget the dragon who took out the throne in Game of Thrones? We saw Aquaman and Sarah Connor's triplets grow up so fast, from being kitten-sized at birth to becoming the justice-dispensing sons of Daenerys Stormborn, the Mad Queen. Loyal to the very end, this black and red 140-foot long creature spits fire hot enough to torch King's Landing in a single day. Between that, the Battle of Winterfell, and the taking on of his undead brother Viserion and the Walkers at the Wall, he's got over 10,000 hits under his belt. He's vulnerable to the Night King's Ice Pierce and Scorpion Arrows, though. Without any of those, Drogon is a fast and furious sidekick you pray to be on your side. I'm friends with your mother. <laughs> 2. Smaug, The Hobbit Trilogy It almost feels sacrilegious not to have Tolkien's elegant gold-hoarding beast at the number one spot, but that doesn't make Smaug any less of a dragon in our hearts. He's estimated to be about 200 feet long in the trilogy, the last of his kind, he's chased away the dwarves from Erebor, destroyed the city of Dale, and Esgaroth. We estimate that in that destruction, he sent about 60,000 souls to their maker. Although he's never fought another monster, he has taken out entire armies of humans and dwarves and come out quite victorious. So why number two? Old Smaugi has an Achilles heel right under his heart. Where Bard struck him with his last black arrow, Smaug the Magnificent does have magic powers in the Hobbit novella, but since libraries are closed, we are only using the film version of dragons. I instill terror in the hearts of men. Honorable Mentions Before we reveal the strongest dragon on our list, we'd like to give an honorable mention to Dragara from Rebirth of Mothra 2, Elliot from Pete's Dragon, Male Efficient from Sleeping Beauty, Imugi from South Korea's Dragon Wars, Mushu from Milan, Shenlong from Dragon Ball Z, Puffin Stuff from the classic HR Puffin Stuff, Dragon from the 1990s rap supergroup The Rough Riders, The Dragons on Dragon's Den, Balthroma and the Promiscuous Dragons from Rick and Morty, That Dragon in Westworld Season 3 Episode 2 That Keeps Me Watching, Jabberwocky from 2010's Alice in Wonderland, The Dragon in Dragon's Lair, The Old Knight Ravager in Beowulf, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and the original Puff Daddy, my personal favorite, Puff the Magic Dragon. 1. Dragonstorm 
Transformers The Last Night. Dragonstorm is the impenetrable, impregnable, invincible, untouchable, number one, undisputed, undefeated, draconian champion of our list. Is this movie flawed? You bet. But this dragon is tongue to tail flawless. He is the Transformer combination of the 12 Guardian Knights of Cybertron who opposed the multi-faced, infinitely wicked Quintessa, the original winner in the Battle of Camelot against the Saxons. This metallic beast has slaughtered hundreds of knights, went into cybersleep, and woke up one and a half millennia later to take out members of the technologically advanced intergalactic war machines known as Decepticons. With over 200 feet in length and a 300-foot wingspan, this Cybertronian, like Rocky Marciano and Floyd Money Mayweather, has never lost. It's that kind of ruthless, armored, three-headed behemoth that we'd love to ride into eternal battle victory. What do you think of our list of fire breathers? Are there any uber-dangerous dragons we missed? Do you agree with our number one choice? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more from The Binger. Catch you on the flip.